Hey all, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Nanda Clock Key. This is the original alarm clock with wheels so that it runs off when the alarm sounds, making it impossible for you to just hit the snooze key and then fall back asleep. You have to actually get up and uh, search for it, run after it to turn the alarm off manually. So this is a concept that came out actually a few years back, but it's uh, sold very well and it continues to be sold today on Amazon. And we decided to take a closer look at it as a very unique tech gadget slash alarm clock for those who have trouble waking up in the morning. This is the classic chrome version which sells for $45 and there's also plastic versions uh, that comes in a number of different colors that sells for a little bit less around $40 and under. It takes four uh, AAA batteries to operate and uh, it also features a chime or a sound that's inspired by R2D2. It's also quite durable, at least the claim is, and that it can fall off from nightstands up to three feet and continue rolling around without any problems. So taking a closer look at the design of the clocky, again we have a very reflective surface. This chrome one is made out of aluminum shell, so it has the best build out of the uh, collection that uh, Nanda sells. And it features an LCD display, which shows you the time information. It also tells you the AM and PM status, along with whether the alarm is turned on and whether the runaway feature is on. So this is the cycle key. If you tap on this, it turns on the feature for it to actually move. And I can also turn this off as well if you don't want it to actually move and just use it as a regular alarm clock, although that kind of defeats the purpose of the product. Um, so as far as size comparison is concerned, here it is next to the AppBot Riley, which is this home security system on wheels. So pretty similar in terms of overall footprint and size. Uh, again, these are both kind of robotic uh, toys for the house. And next to a smartphone, this is a Nexus 4, which has a roughly five inch size. Tapping the snooze key once also turns the backlight on, which is actually very visible in the dark. And what the keys correspond to is basically A means alarm, and you can tap on this once to set up the alarm. So right now it's set at 9.39, for instance. And the H and M is basically setting up the hour and the minutes. Uh, so they correlate directly to those functions that are mapped. I can tap on the H for a few times to uh, make the hour hand move, and the M to make the minutes hand move. Finally, over here I also have the T. If I can tap on that to set up the time if it needs to be adjusted, and I can tap on it once more to uh, finalize it or wait a few seconds for it to uh, stop flashing. The back is where the speaker is located and indeed it gets very loud uh, and uh, it will definitely wake you up in the morning with the R2D2 inspired sounds and this is the battery compartment it says made by Nunda and here's a view from the sides with the wheels which uh, are very thickly coated in soft touch rubber that prevents it from getting damaged when it drops from a nightstand it absorbs the shock and continues moving in random directions as we'll show you in a demo in a second. And to turn off the alarm, you have to tap on either the uh, key that turns off the sound or the one that turns off the wheels and the motor uh, to shut it off. If you tap on snooze, all it's all it's going to do is actually temporarily snooze it and it will continue ringing and rolling around after a minute or two minutes, depending on what you set up the snooze duration to be. Finally, when the display is flashing like it is now, when we see a battery status icon halfway mark, that means the battery is starting to run a little bit low and that you can prepare to swap out the batteries. On average though, you'll only need to recharge or uh, replace the batteries about once every three to four months, uh, depending of course how long you leave it rolling on the floor. So that's more or less our hands-on review of the original Clocky. Definitely a very interesting and uh, kind of cute alarm clock for those who struggle to get out of bed in the morning or are heavy sleepers. Uh, the design as well as the concept is actually quite interesting and it's very well built. Uh, it didn't break at all when falling from uh, you know, three feet or so. The alarm itself is extremely loud and indeed sounds like R2D2, which in itself is pretty cool. And uh, I found it to be pretty functional because you have to get out of bed and actually move around. And by the time that you actually catch up to the alarm and hit the correct key, you're already awake and ready to start the day. So you can check out more details about this in the links down below. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Nanda Clocky, the running wheels alarm clock.